Hey guys, it's Elliot. Today I'm going to be going over how I do my testosterone shot. This is only my second shot, so I might not be perfect at it, and I kind of had to psych myself out, but that's okay. Also, this is just a reminder that this is the way I was taught how to do my shot, which means it's not going to be the same for everybody else, because everybody takes their prescription drugs uniquely to the way their body needs it. So today I'm going to be showing you how I do my testosterone shot. The first thing everyone should always do before like injecting themselves or whatever is wash your hands, which I've already done. This is my testosterone. I have a band-aid ready to go. And then I have two different needles. Currently I have a needle which is going to be changed. I just have these for my first couple because this one isn't as precise. Um, which is like the problem with it. I can show you. So, as you can see here, it goes all the way up to three milliliters. Um, and my prescription for testosterone, this is only one milliliter, so having three is kind of useless. So, eventually, I'm gonna switch needles, and they're gonna give me ones that have one milliliter instead of up to three that way each thing is going to be more precise so this one already comes on comes with a tip which is the blue one and then this is my green one which i use for extraction it's a lot thicker and it's a lot bigger <laughs> than this one and um so the first thing i have to do will be to switch them out i also have rubbing alcohol so what I'm going to do with this is, and you can either use alcohol pads or rubbing alcohol with a tissue. I told it was okay to use either one. I've heard other people are told you absolutely have to use one or the other. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the rubbing alcohol on a tissue and clean off the area that I want to do. So the best way I was taught to choose a site is to um, do four inches from your knee and then four inches from your hip. And then that's kind of the designated area where you're able to do it. So I kind of genuine, gen, I generally kind of cleaned off the area. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing except I'm going to start where I want to eject myself and go from the middle out. That way I'm not spreading any of the bacteria back to like any of the other spots. The next place I'm going to put rubbing alcohol, the tip of my bottle. Because I'm using this for more than one prescription as most people do, uh, there is time where it's like exposed to the elements and I want to make sure that it's nice and clean so that way I'm not getting any extra bacteria or anything in me. All right, so I have my area picked out. I have my testosterone bottle ready. So now what I need to do is have my Band-Aid prepped. Just have it open, that way it's ready for when I'm ready to use it. So I have this one. I'm gonna take this part off, and you can see this needle. I'm gonna set it aside on a clean surface, which I have ready. <laughs> And then I'm going to take this one and put this one on. Whatever your prescription is, you fill your needle of that with air. So I have that filled with air. And I'm going to stick it inside. And you want to make sure it's actually inside. But you don't want to touch the bottom. And now I'm slowly going to pull it up. And because there's air inside, the actual like stopper thing is going to go higher than your prescription, so you have to watch where the medicine is. Alright. Now that it's at my prescription, I'm going to hold it upside down, pull it out, 
and then there still might be some in the needle so I like to pull a little bit more so that way the rest of that comes out and it'll kind of drip and you can see it so you just want to make sure you get all that and now I have to switch needles again so I'm going to cap it so I don't stab myself with this long run. I'm going to cap it and twist it off I'm going to stick this one on with it still upside down, I'm going to make sure I can put it at my prescription because I had to pull it more to get out the extra stuff. And it is. And then I'm going to fill a little bit inside the needle. That way I'm not putting any air inside my leg. And now I just have to pick an injection site. So what I do is I hold it at a 90 degree angle. You only choose one hand to do this. You go straight down and you can't like switch hands. It goes a little bit slow because it's a kind of thicker substance. I'm gonna pinch the area with my left hand and inject with my right. And I'm just gonna go at a 90 degree angle straight in. I wanna make sure it's all the way down and I'm gonna look for blood and there isn't, which means I didn't hit a vein. And you never let go with the hand you're injecting in, but I can let go with the hand I'm squeezing. That way I can start pushing it down. I like to hold it for an extra three seconds, just in case there's anything left in the needle. But I already have my band-aid prepped, so I'm just going to wait. And... Testosterone! This is my voice pre-testosterone. This is my voice, one full week on testosterone.